Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. This here is Porty's Garage. Today we are in Mick's basement and I just purchased a dual band log periodic antenna from Elk Antenna for uh, 70 centimeter and two meter. Supposed to have a good SWR for both. So I got it mounted on the tripod over there. I'll take the camera down. We'll show you that in a minute. And uh, then I will be testing the SWR using the ICOM here. Gonna start out at five watts. Then I'll be going to 50 watts. Uh, got the Surecom uh, SWR meter here for the VHF and UHF. So we're gonna be checking both of those and I'm gonna have the antenna mounted horizontally at a 45 degree angle and then also vertically. I'm a little concerned about going vertical. Some of the legs on the uh, tripod are metal and I have a feeling it could uh, interfere with some things. So I may have to look at uh, uh, changing out the tripod. So let me uh, take the camera down here, show you the antenna, and then let's get started checking the SWR. All right, you can see the antenna here. Um, it comes, these two upper and lower horizontals were assembled. We did have to assemble the uh, radials, but you can see they are color coded on each radial with the corresponding on the main beam. Um, the PVC there, here, oops, sorry, right there, all came together. Um, here is the UHF connection that was on it. So what they do say is you need to keep a the wire come down eight inches, loop back to, uh, I get, think, I can't remember which it was, it's 20, uh, inches for UHF and like 30 inches for VHF. They may be switched. I put a little mark at uh, 25 right in between. So we're going to be giving that a shot today, checking the SWR. I do have it on a mount that I turn this and I can twist this panel uh, to a 45 for contacting satellites or uh, horizontal uh, most of the time, I, you can see it's horizontal. Most of the time, I think I'll be having it vertical. And I've got to watch these legs here interfering with frequencies coming from uh, the feet here. So I may have to just, for simplex contacts or long range uh, repeater, there is a one inch PVC that I may have to just stick it on that for uh, anything when I have the antenna mounted vertically. All right. So now you can see I've got the uh, SWR and uh, watt meter hooked up. I've got the ICOM uh, ID4100. I got it set to five watts. So you can see here, I'm just gonna write down all the SWRs. I'm gonna start at 431, 440, 449. I'm gonna do five watts, uh, 50 watts horizontal, have the antenna at a uh, angle and then vertical, and then going to do 445, 446, 447, same thing. So uh, right now I've got the radio set to 44, or sorry, 431. And let's just give a quick key up. Look at that, SWR 1.1 at five watts. Let me write that down, one point, sorry, 01, which is pretty good. Let's type in now four, four zero 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 enter so we're at 440 uh we're at one i'm liking this and then let's do four four nine five zero 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 enter key up and that's one also All right, then let's key in 145. 45, 000, zero. enter. All right, so that is 1.53. And I wonder if I adjusted where that uh, antenna was connected, cable to the uh, back of the hand, held portion of the uh, 
antenna. I wonder if that would help. All right, so I want one, four, six, five, zero, zero. Enter, key up, one, four, four. And then let's do one, four, seven, five, zero, zero, zero. Oops. Key up, one, four, five. All right, so now let's change the radio to uh, high power. All right, and let's just go backwards on this. So I'm at 147.500. Same thing. 1.46. The worst one was 145, so let's key that in. Enter, and still 1.55. I will take that. Now let's... All right, so now I've got it set at a 45 degree angle. Uh, radio set at 431. So this is high power. Let's key that up. That's a little higher, but not much. So that's 1.02. So let me key in 145. That's the worst. And let's key up on that. And that one is 1.42. Not bad. So I'm going to finish these up for the uh, diagonal, and then I will bring the radio back on when I got it uh, set up vertically. All right, so now I've got the antenna vertically. Uh, the legs do interfere. They don't touch the tripod, but the tripod does have metal legs. So we'll see what happens. I am currently on 445.0 at 50 watts. And that is still one. <laughs> it's pointed at my computer almost, and the computer turned on. The screen just lit up. Let's hope I'm not wrecking anything in the computer. All right, let's do... Uh, Four, three, one, zero, zero, zero. That's 1.2, which is a different number. We've had a uh, one and 1.01. 01. Now let's go to the worst one, which is 45, zero, zero, zero. Let's see what happens here. So that's the worst number we've gotten so far, 1.61. It's still not bad though. So let's go to the other side of that, 147500. That's 1.61 also. Nope, that did not change. Sorry there. 147500. Helps when you hit enter. And that's 1.5. Two. So let me fill in the rest of these and then I will show you the chart. All right, you can see I got the chart filled out. Started on the 70 centimeter, did the uh, 431 uh, to 444, 50 watts horizontal angle vertical, and the worst one was 50 watts at 431 at 1.02. This uh, vertical, I'm going to put a picture in then of the uh, antenna, how it interacts with the legs. That may be from that. I'd like to see how that operates in the field, see if it affects the way the antenna is operating. Um, and you can see on the 2 meter, 145 to 147. The worst was the 145, 50 watts vertical. And again, I wonder if that's interaction, but I'm still only an SWR of 1.61. So I'm going to uh, be testing this for some long distance simplex. See if I can hit Mr. Porty at his house. That's 27 miles away. Um, I cannot do it with the 50 watts and a mag mount. I'd like to see if this uh, directional log, uh, log periodic will work. And then I will be uh, trying to hit some satellites. So keep watching for some, uh, some upcoming videos. If you like the content, give it the thumbs up. Thanks for watching Porty's Garage.